What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're gonna be trying exotic fruits from all over the world. So last night I went to my local grocery store and they had an entire section that said exotic fruits and of course I saw all of this colorful fruit and it caught my attention so I went up and everything just looks so interesting. For example, I had never seen this before nor had I tried it so I was like, you know what? I need to pick up all this fruit and we need to try it together. So in today's video we're going to be trying them and I'm going to be letting you know what the fruit tastes like. So if you guys are excited for today's Today's video drop a like subscribe and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video and without any further ado let's go ahead and let's try the fruit so for the first fruit we have horned melon now this is from southern Africa now this fruit guys is mild and slightly sweet and it's supposed to taste like cucumber and with a hint of banana flavor too that's very interesting I had never heard of a fruit that tastes similar to cucumber and banana so we need to try this let's cut it open Ooh. I did not expect that color whoa that is so cool. Look at this. I have to give you guys a close-up of this. Just look you know at the what color. It looks like? Frog egg. Have you ever seen frog eggs? Yes, I have. That's what it looks like. But also, doesn't it look like the seeds of cucumber? Yeah. Oh my god. It smells like banana. That is so crazy. I'm just amazed by the colors. Look at the orange, the yellow, and the green. That looks beautiful. Let's get a spoon and let's just dig in and let's try this. Ooh. So do you eat the seeds? Yeah, you just eat it like that. <laughs> I can taste the banana flavor. I know what they're talking about. This one is not too sweet. It's a little bit sour, but I can definitely taste the hint of banana. That is so crazy. That's so weird. It's so refreshing though. Mm. I'm gonna rate the first fruit eight out of 10. Now I'm excited to try the rest of the fruit. For the next fruit, we have Mame Sapote. Now this is from Mexico. Now this is supposed to taste like sweet potato, apricot, and pumpkin. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys remember this. It was trending on TikTok for the longest and I always wanted to try it, but it was so hard to find it. So as soon as I saw this one, I was like, finally, I'm gonna be able to taste it. So for Mame Sapote, all you do is you also cut it in half. I think it has a seed. I was about to tell you, do you hear that? Oh, that's a big seed. Wait, this looks like a papaya. It does. Oh my God, this smells amazing. I can smell it. It smells like papaya to me. It smells very sweet, right? The texture is very different. Here we go. I'm not sure if I like this one. It's very weird because I can't put my finger on what exactly it tastes like, but it definitely does taste like pumpkin. Never mind. I'm getting like the aftertaste i just don't think that i'm a huge fan of the texture as well because the texture is very different it's kind of like smushy do you see that so i'm gonna rate the mame six out of ten up next we have a prickly pear now this is from mexico i actually grew up eating these all the time when i was a kid so as soon as i saw it at the grocery store i was like i have to include it in today's video now in spanish we call these tunas from where i'm from and these grow on top of cactuses they're usually full of thorns so i'm surprised this one doesn't have any. I'm pretty sure that at the grocery store they took them off, which honestly that's better because I don't want to be poking myself. But these are supposed to be sweet, but sometimes they could be bland depending on like the season. So we're gonna cut this open and we're gonna try it. There's also different types of prickly pear. I will tell you this one is red. There's other that are yellow and then also like the green ones. My favorite are the greens. The wait, have you tried the yellow ones? I haven't, but I feel like the green are always sweeter. Yes, but you haven't tried the yellow. The yellow are elite. They're so sweet so good as a kid i would eat these so much guys and my aunt would always tell me stop eating so many prickly pears because you're gonna get constipated i think they would tell me that so i wouldn't go buy more but honestly it never happened to me so i'm gonna say that it's probably a myth look at that it has so many seeds a lot of people don't eat the seeds they just like chew it and then spit it out i eat the whole thing so here we go <laughs> this one's sweet this one is so sweet oh my god Honestly, it's so hard to describe the flavor. All I can tell you is that it's sweet. That's it because it doesn't honestly have a lot of flavor. I'm going to rate this one 10 out of 10. Now we're going to try passion fruit. Now this is from New Zealand. This is supposed to taste professionally tart, but also the flavor can be compared to melon, pineapple, and kiwi. Okay, now I'm interested. So I've tried a lot of things that are passion fruit flavor, like drinks, but I've never tried the actual fruit 
fruit. And I always see people like opening the fruit and it looks very different and satisfying. So let's cut it open. I know they say that like the wrinklier it looks, the better because that means that it's ready to eat. It's gonna be sweeter. <gasps> That smells so good. I need to try this. Ooh. <gasps> what does it remind me like frog eggs? Stop saying that. Okay, I can see what they what they're talking about. It is slightly tart. Mmm. Slightly sweet. I can taste some of the sweetness now. I can taste kind of like like they say similar to pineapple. So far, passion fruit is the winner. I'm going in because it's so good. I'm gonna rate passion fruit 9 out of 10. I think it's honestly so good. Then we have a goat passion fruit from Brazil, and this is supposed to be sweet with mild floral notes. I think this is supposed to be the same thing as regular passion fruit. It's just the color that changes, but I might be wrong. Whoa, okay. This one looks exactly like the other passion fruit. Look at that. Ooh, all right, let's try it. I can see why they said it had floral notes. It's a little bit tangy, a little bit sour, but slightly sweet with a hint of guava. I like this one. I'm gonna rate the gold passion fruit eight and a half out of 10. Next, we have a Korean melon. This is from Eastern India. This is supposed to taste like cantaloupe, pear, and banana. Then we have pepino melon, which this is from Peru. This is supposed to taste like cantaloupe and honeydew melon combined. So first, let's try Korean melon, and let's see if it does taste like pear and banana and cantaloupe. Okay, I did not cut it right, but okay, here's a close-up again. It smells like honeydew and cantaloupe. Mm, that smells really sweet. Let's see. Let me take out the seeds actually, so we can get some of the center. Here we go. Whoa guys, that is so sweet. So sweet. It's a little crunchy, which I love because I personally like all of my food to have a nice crunch. Okay, I'm like digging in there. It's a little bit hard to get all of the fruit out, but here we go. Also, do you see all the juice? Like, look at that. It's so sweet. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm gonna rate Korean melon nine and a half out of 10. Love the crunchiness and also I love how sweet it is. Now let's cut this one down the middle. Ooh, this one is totally different. Look at that. It has seeds, but they're so tiny. This is the one that's supposed to taste like cantaloupe and honeydew combined. It's similar to the consistency of cantaloupe, not as sweet as honeydew. This fruit is not so sweet, but I do like the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit crunchy, but also think about it, soft as like the honeydew. I'm gonna rate this one six out of 10. I would have liked it to be a little bit more sweet, but it's not bad. Now we're gonna try two different kinds of bananas. First, we have a burro banana. This is from Mexico. This is supposed to be a tangy lemon flavor. First of all, this banana is huge. Look at the shape of it and the size. Then we have a red banana. This is from Southern Asia. This is supposed to taste like a regular banana with a tinge of raspberry sweetness. Ooh. I love raspberry. So first, we're gonna try this one because I really want to try this and see if I can taste the raspberry flavor. Okay, right off the bat, the color is different. It's like slightly yellow with maybe like pink undertone. I'm gonna cut it in half so you guys can see. Do you see that? The color? It does smell like a regular banana, but let's take the first bite. I don't think I can taste the raspberry, guys, but it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes like a regular banana. I'm gonna rate this one seven out of 10. Now we're gonna try the burro banana. How do I even <laughs> open this? There we go. Are you sure you don't Ooh. cook the banana? Some people can use it for uh, to make plantains, but you can also just eat it like this. All right, let's try it. It's really hard in the center. I can kind of see why some people use it to make plantains. It doesn't really taste sweet. It's more just like plain, like a plain banana. Like I said, a little crunchy. Between these two, I feel like I would rather eat the red banana because it's more sweet than this one. I'm gonna rate the burro banana a six out of 10. Maybe if I were to make plantain chips with it, it would taste a little bit better, but for now, six out of 10. Up next, we're gonna try two different kinds of dragon fruit. So first we have a dragon fruit, which is from South America. This is a mightly sweet flavor, often described as a blend of pear and kiwi. Then we have a yellow dragon fruit from South America, which is mild, sweet, and floral. Guys, I will tell you one thing. I absolutely love 
yellow dragon fruit, but I will tell you, let me tell you something. I heard on TikTok that if you are ever constipated, TMI, but if you're ever constipated, you're struggling to use the restroom, eat some yellow dragon fruit and that's, that's literally all you need. So I didn't know that. So I bought yellow dragon fruit and I was like eating. I was like, oh my God, this is so delicious. It's so sweet. I absolutely love yellow dragon fruit better than this one here. 45 minutes into an hour, I was in the car driving and I was like, why is my stomach rumbling? Like, what is going on? Like, I didn't understand. I barely made it to the restroom. Then I looked it up on Google. It's like a natural laxative. So if you ever want to try yellow dragon fruit, make sure you're home, okay? Because if not, you want to be near a toilet. I'm just going to say that. So let's try this one first. So I'm just going to cut it down the middle. Wait, I thought this was going to be the white um, dragon fruit because there's a dragon fruit that looks exactly like this from the outside, but the inside is white. This I one is have, red. I have never seen that one. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, it doesn't smell sweet at all. Let's give it a try. Let's try it. Whoa. Mmm, this is much sweeter than the dragon fruit that is white on the inside. Much sweeter. I don't even know how to describe the flavor. I would say it tastes kind of like earthy, slightly sweet. It's bomb though. I could definitely finish the entire thing. I'm gonna rate this one here, eight out of 10. Now let's cut the yellow dragon fruit. This one's my favorite one. Okay, you guys see how there's a difference in the seeds? These seeds here are smaller. These are bigger. Look at that. But this one here is much sweeter. Mm. And it's crunchy. Oh my, yes, yeah, because of the seeds. The seeds are so crunchy because they're bigger. Do you guys see all that juice there? Look. That's why it's so sweet. Yellow dragon fruit, for me personally, 10 out of 10. It is so good. Now we're gonna try three different types of mangoes. First, we have this mango here. Not sure how to pronounce the name, but I'll leave it here on the screen. This is supposed to have a nectar sweet taste. Then we have a large mango, which is from Mexico. This is also supposed to have a sweet taste. Then we have young baby green mango, also from Mexico. And this is supposed to taste like fresh green apple. So first, let's taste this one here i love mango guys because usually it's so sweet i feel like it's very rare to get a mango that's not sweet and just the smell like oh my god here we go i'm gonna get a big spoon because i love it that's really good it's really sweet also slightly sour but mostly sweet I'm gonna rate this mango seven and a half out of 10, just because I feel like this one's gonna be a lot sweeter. So let's taste this one now. I can also know when it's gonna be a good mango based on like the color. I think this one's gonna be really sweet. Let's try this one. Told you. This one is so sweet. I'm gonna rate this one nine and a half out of 10. There's just so many things that you can do with the mango, mango smoothie. That one is so sweet. Now we're gonna try the baby green mango. This one is very, very sour, but this with some chamoy and tahin will literally hit the spot. I'm gonna rate this one nine out of 10. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried any of the fruits that I have tried so far because I'm very interested, so comment down below. Up next, we have golden berries. Now, these are from Colombia and they're supposed to taste tart and tangy. Then we have persimmon, which is from Chile, and this is supposed to taste like honey and squash. So first, we're gonna try the golden berries so this is what they look like here's a close-up i'm gonna try one of them okay i know they said tart and tangy it is tangy but it's also sweet these are actually really good you say you were just gonna have one you ate three all three of them mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna rate the golden berries nine and a half out of ten those are actually really good now let's try the persimmon let's cut it down the middle here's what the inside looks like very interesting it doesn't smell like anything. Let's take a bite right here where there's no skin. Whoa, that is so sweet. Kind of crunchy at the same time, but then it has like the consistency of almost like a tomato. Like it's squishy, but crunchy. That's so interesting. Oh yeah. I'm gonna rate this one also nine and a half out of 10. Now we're gonna try strawberry papaya. This is from Hawaii. It's supposed to taste like peaches, melon, and berries. As soon as I saw strawberry papaya, for like, I don't know why I thought, mm, it's supposed to taste like strawberries, but apparently not. Maybe that's just the name. Okay, it looks like a regular papaya. Okay, let's take out. <gasps> Wait, I forgot my spoon. Hold on. I'm back. I have the spoon. We're gonna take out the seed. Let's take 
a spoonful and let's try it. Oh my God. Whoa. Does it taste yes. like strawberry? No, not like strawberry. It tastes like papaya, but it tastes different. Is it sweeter? Yes, much sweeter. I'm gonna rate this one at nine and a half out of 10 as well. For our last set of fruits, we have a jackfruit, which is from India. This is supposed to taste like a banana, apple, and mango. Then we have a sugar cane, and this is supposed to taste honey and floral. And then we have this green coconut, which unfortunately, I was not able to open it. Jason tried to help me as well. We literally tried so many things that we had around the house, and this is as far as we got. And yeah, we came to the conclusion that it's just impossible to open it. After the video, I'm gonna take it probably to my dad's house, figure something out because I need to drink that coconut water. So we're gonna put that to the side and unfortunately we're not gonna try it in today's video. But let's start off by trying the sugar cane. Now sugar cane, you just chew it and you get all the sugar out and then you spit it out. So let's try it. That is so sweet, oh my God. Mmm, this is a 10 out of 10. Like, I don't think you guys understand how freaking sweet this is. Now we're gonna try the jackfruit. I have never tried this before. I think all you do is you just do this, and then this here is what you eat. See, is there a seed in here? Oh yeah, there's a seed, told you. And then you just eat this part here. Tastes almost like banana is sweet, but then it's like the aftertaste of banana, it like hits you. I'm gonna rate jackfruit like a seven and a half out of 10. It's super crunchy, hear this. You hear that? Okay, not bad. But all right guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get notified every single time that I post a new video. If you guys want me to film a part two, drop down below in the comment section what exotic fruit I should try next. Again, thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB who we running with?